It was completely unexpected. Shaitoshi isn't slowing down anytime soon, he just can't stop releasing bombshells. However, it is just astounding now. Now, I am really at a loss for words. But what on earth am I referring to? Who knows, we'll find out. Important notice. Shaitoshi Kusama said on Telegram yesterday that he was having a conversation with a powerful person about Shiba Inu matters. Given Kusama's extended period of silence, this discovery sparked enthusiasm within the community. Most recently, he wrote, Kusama emphasized the importance of the group's characteristic enthusiastic excitement in welcoming this new member. The Shiba Inu army was quick to respond and warmly greeted the visitor. After an energetic interaction session, the Shiba Inu ecosystem thanked the community members and confirmed that the contract had been finalized. Even more so, Kusama urged everyone to remain tuned for more updates. The Shiba Inu army unleashed yet another wave of aggressive behavior in response to this comment. While details were few at first, the community quickly caught on that when Kusama hinted at something so massive and actually meant real, serious progress was being made, not just empty promises. Finally, we have all the information we need, including clarifications. It appears that a few influencers have previously addressed this, but they are omitting a crucial aspect that alters the premise of the forthcoming upgrade. Where does it stand, though? Why do even the people who discovered this secret detail not want it revealed? Who knows? We'll find out. Just recently did it come to light that the Shiba Inu team has raised $12 million for its planned Layer 3 privacy blockchain using the Treat token, which is still in its development stage. God, I've found it. The development team has been silent for an extended period of time, leaving the public eagerly anticipating the release of the Treat token. Finally, something really monumental has come our way, not just ordinary news either. A wave of joy and excitement has washed over the Shiba Inu community. This change represents a major advancement for the project, so it's understandable that they feel this way. Envision yourself patiently waiting for a shipment to arrive after weeks of anticipation, just to be pleasantly surprised when you open it to discover an outstanding item you've been yearning for. An overwhelming sense of joy and contentment washes over you. In this very moment, it is precisely how the Shiba Inu community feels. Although the treat token had been anticipated for quite some time, the announcement of a Layer 3 blockchain was entirely unexpected. Back up a little, Shiba Inu was originally built using Ethereum, uh, it acts as the first layer. We then saw the August launch of Shibarium, a Layer 2 scaling solution developed specifically for Shiba Inus. And now, fresh ground is being broken with the announcement of a forthcoming Layer 3 blockchain and the treat token. Just follow these steps. Layer 1 is the base, the place where everything important happens. Transactions are accelerated and scaled with the support of Layer 2, which lies atop Layer 1. For example, Shibarium is useful for this purpose in the case of Shiba Anus. Now, Layer 3 takes capabilities to the next level by providing even more functionality and scalability. As an example, consider constructing a home. Layer 1 forms the sturdy base. More room and comfort are provided by Layer 2, which is essentially extra stories. Plus, Layer 3 is like putting on a rooftop terrace that provides additional amenities, a beautiful view, and an overall better and more efficient living space. Now, let me tell you something crucial. The content marketer for the Shiba Inu ecosystem X just wrote an article in which According to Lucy, the $12 million raised by the Shiba Inu team came from an investment round and was used for the treat token, which is still under development. The researchers behind the Shiba Inu reportedly made $12 million from the sale of treat to investors and venture capital firms based outside of the U.S. In case you have never heard of them before, venture capital firms are businesses that pool their resources to back promising new ventures in return for a share of ownership. In exchange for a stake in the firm, they essentially lend money to startups with promising futures. Envision yourself with a fantastic company plan, but no capital to make it a reality. You go to a venture capital firm with your business concept, pitch it to them, and if they're interested, they'll give you the money to make it a reality. For this, they join the ranks of your company's owners and get a cut of the profits. Because it shows a level of validation and support from experienced investors, affiliation with venture capital firms is usually reserved for serious initiatives. The participation of venture capitalists is indicative of their faith in the project's feasibility and future success because they perform extensive due diligence before to investing. The Shiba Inu development team's ability to secure venture capital funding is a testament to their dedication and faith in their forthcoming project. This news was confirmed by Shaitu Sama, the head of the Shiba Inu ecosystem. There were pre-seed and seed rounds of fundraising, he said. The fundraising procedure, which Shiba Inu started a few months ago and finished in early April, was also disclosed by Kusama. Nevertheless, he refrained from revealing any particular statistics related to the appraisal. An unnamed source, however, has indicated that the fundraising seems to have been organized in three installments. 
There were supposedly three separate tranches with valuations of $75 million, $100 million, and $200 million. Partitioning a big investment or fundraising round into smaller portions is the simplest way to explain a tranche. Distributed or invested in stages according to specific milestones or circumstances, each tranche represents a fraction of the entire amount raised. It is true that the figures given are somewhat large. These numbers show the estimated worth of the various fundraising efforts. To put it in perspective, think of your savings as being divided into smaller containers like a piggy bank. The number shows how big the fundraising campaign is and how confident investors are in Shiba Inu's future. Each container holds a substantial amount. Additionally, there is something important for you to grasp. The primary goal of the funding is to hasten the release of Shiba Inu's Layer 3 blockchain, which is currently under development on Shibarium and is based on privacy. Surprisingly, Kusama opted not to reveal the identity of the forthcoming blockchain. With this move, we hope to prevent future scams like the one that involved the creation of counterfeit treat tokens just before the official launch. As it protects community members and investors from falling prey to scams, this tactic is really astute. By withholding the blockchain's identity until its formal introduction, Shiba Inus can reduce the likelihood that con artists will fabricate tokens to trick unsuspecting victims. Remember that the Shiba Inu community has had its fair share of scammers launching bogus treat tokens and taking advantage of people who weren't careful. For all parties concerned, these occurrences were incredibly vexing. Using cryptography firm Zama's completely homomorphic encryption technology, the Shiba Inu team is constructing a new blockchain. This cooperation is an outgrowth of the one that Shiba Inu and Zama formed in February to improve user data privacy services. The new blockchain, according to Kusama, will launch on a testnet in the third quarter of 2024, and after extensive testing, it will be active on the mainnet. Thus, the moment till we witness the realization of this thrilling development is rapidly approaching. Notably, the treat token will be the asset for utility and governance on the forthcoming privacy-focused blockchain. Also, the head of the Shiba Inu ecosystem has said that treat will be the last risk asset introduced by the breed. If Shaitoshi is talking about risky assets, he probably implies tokens or cryptocurrencies that are susceptible to market swings and speculation in value. Because of their high degree of price volatility and inherently low value, these assets might provide a higher risk to investors. For many reasons, it is encouraging to hear that treat will be the final risk asset provided by the Shiba Inu ecosystem. To start with, it might mean less risk for investors all around since the ecosystem is moving towards more solid and predictable assets. More than that, it hints at the project's development into a more solid and long-term model. Presenting the latest news update, efforts are also underway to reveal a stablecoin before the year ends, as Shaitoshi Kusama highlighted. This is really encouraging news. In light of our earlier talks regarding the importance of the stablecoin initiative, with the introduction of a stablecoin, a cryptocurrency that strives to keep a constant value relative to a fiat currency like the US dollar Shiba Inu can offer its customers a more trustworthy way to trade and hold value, addressing the issue of the treat token as a risk asset. In the long run, this can help the Shiba Inu ecosystem succeed and remain stable by attracting more users and encouraging higher use of the platform. As a result, Shiba Inu prospects are bright for the foreseeable future. However, how do you feel about that? Give your thoughts in the space provided. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Click on one of the videos on the screen if you're interested in finding out more. We have reached the final segment of this video. Please hit the like button and drop a comment down below if you found the video entertaining. Regarding the YouTube algorithm, this is incredibly helpful. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you could forward this video to everyone you know. We need to spread the word about this.